everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing fine and I'm very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a reading about the BRICS, uh, the big organization BRICS. And I have had many viewers sending me questions about BRICS, if BRICS is a good or an evil organization. And I'm going to look into that question in today's video. And to do so, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, gypsy cards, and some dice. But first, just short, a very short info about the bricks. I have my notes here. And let's see. Uh, bricks is an uh, inter intergovernmental organization and it's one of the most powerful economic groups in the world and many people don't know about this uh, the mass media have been very quiet about this BRICS organization since it's moved away from the petrodollars and they use uh, go back or asset back currencies and BRICS started out with uh, the country of Brazil, Russia, China and South Africa joining together to form this uh, economical group that wanted to trade between each other. And BRICS have grown. Also Saudi Arabia have joined BRICS and many many countries are waiting for um, the thumbs up for joining the BRICS and yeah and the BRICS is larger than the USA and EU together mm -hmm. and it, it's trading blocks it, uh, it's, it's a trading block to trade among each other and take away the West's control and they are working at the moment for car a common currency, they want to have a special currency to trade between each other. And I have put a couple of links below in the description if you want to have more information, more historical, or more um, f further, deeper information about the BRICS. Uh, I just gave some superficial information here. So just look down below in the description and you find a couple of links you can look at and if you want to know more. So this BRICS uh, economical group, is it of an evil kind or if is it of a good kind? And since they crushes a little bit the West economy by trading between each other and the West doesn't like that so much so of course they're gonna put an evil stamp on it but in the, in the foundation is it a good or evil organization? is it working for good causes or are there some hidden agendas behind the bricks? this I want to look into further and we start with shuffling my tarot cards to see what we can find about the bricks. take some oracle cards a gypsy card And some dice.
the cards looks like this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, the bricks. I have, um, first I have a snake in the paradise. I have attraction, I have the phoenix, um, resurrection, surrender to change, king of swords, ten of swords, temperance, the lovers, six of swords, the judge, jerk, um, lovers, and um, magni um, magnifying glass. Let's start with the bricks. Mm -hmm. They started because they felt uh, cheated. Uh, as I said, it's like an opposition to the West Western world because the Western world had control over everything. They decided the price, they decided this and that. And uh, the poorer countries got poorer and the richer country got richer. So it's like an opposition to the snake. Um, they don't want to be ruled uh, by the West anymore. They felt like the West or the snake. And the bricks have a big attraction because um, they have more equality, you can call it. Every country is judged by their own. And uh, they also want to have some kind of um, understanding between each other. Mm, no oppression. Overall, uh, the phoenix is something that will rise. Uh, sorry, the bricks. Overall, the bricks is like a like a phoenix bird. And when the west is into ashes, it will rise uh, as a resurrection, something new. And this will spread uh, to many countries. Mm. And a lot of countries would like to join. Yeah. So I don't see the BRICS as something bad, bad. Uh, there will be rules in the BRICS like it's um, to join it like it's in, in other organizations. Uh, and I see it more balanced because we have the temperance, we have uh, fire and we have water, a balance between, uh, between uh, warmth and cold. I want to bring some balance into the economic world of the world. Uh, it doesn't really s answer the question if it's good and evil yet. So that was just um, the bricks. Let's take cards on specific question. Is the bricks of an evil nature? Is it something that is mm, looks good but in the foundation is evil? So let's take some cards on that. Is this a, maybe a new kind of world order to control the people? Let's take some cards on that. According to the cards, so we have seven of coins, six of swords, uh, queen of cups, the lovers, and ace of coins. None of those cards um, says that it's evil. It has been working hard to spread to other countries around the world. And it's like to help the countries to rise above Western control and to help the countries regain uh, or get something for their natural resources or what they want to sell, uh, like a fair trade. 
So according to the cards, the BRICS is not an evil organization. Mm -hmm. Let's take some more cards on BRICS. What can we expect from the BRICS in the future? At the moment it's not evil. Who knows what it will be when it gains more power. What will happen to the bricks in the future? Mm. We have uh, four of wands, the emperor, armite, eight of coins and six of uh, cups. It looks like it will grow it will expand, it will become richer. It's not an organization that is looking for war. It's an organization that looks like it will be quite calm, quite peaceful. And it will help people to create job opportunities and to transfer wealth among many, among um, the normal people, more opportunities. And it will be welcomed by many. At the moment, the Western world are trying to put a lid on bricks, not talk about it. But it, since it's so big, they will not be able to hush it down much further. Mm -hmm. And it will move and it will have a headquarters in different, big headquarters in different countries. Yeah. So it will expand. So, oh, some last words about bricks. Some last words to be said about bricks. And here, on each tarot card, I'm going to put a oracle card. this and also a gypsy card below that And it looks like this. In the center we have Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers and Four of Cups. So, and the sun above the Wheel of Fortune, uh, inner conflict, conscious choice about lovers, and attraction about four, and cup, of four of Cups. And then we have thoughts, loss and message. Um, the last words is, or, oh, sorry, um, it seems like the organization BRICS wants to bring more fortune, more uh, positive energy to their member states. And those joining them uh, will feel welcomed, but they're not joining them uh, just like that. Not everyone can join them. Uh, there will be some rules to join, um, especially uh, concerning peace between the countries. Um, and every country that applies will be looked at to see if uh, this country will contribute with something good or not. 
and it will attract more and more uh, countries uh, to join. Also those countries that are against the BRICS today. Um, a couple of European countries are at the moment um, behind locked doors uh, looking for possible membership in the BRICS as they feel that the current uh, organizations like EU, NATO and so on are not positively um, not making any positive influence on their countries and their people. Uh, so there will be a lot of announcements, a lot of messages that could be disappointing, especially to the Western world, that some of their allies want to join the BRICS. So big changes are coming. Uh, surprising news will uh, be shown on uh, the news, news stations and papers, television and so on. And, and the attraction for the BRICS is growing, especially uh, from those countries that the Western world have um, not been so friendly to or not so kind to uh, during many, many years back. Mm -hmm. So BRICS will be some kind of organization to count with. It doesn't look like it will go away. More likely that it will expand and attract more and more countries to join. But you have to make up your own mind if you think BRICS is something good or bad uh, for the world. Remember the world consists of much, much more countries than just Northern America and uh, EU countries. There are much more countries and every life is equal. Every person's life, that doesn't matter from which country they come. And of course, everyone wants to have a decent life. Well, that was my reading for today on the BRICS. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you wonderful viewers, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye-bye.